to study with Marcia YouTube channel. Now today's video is specially dedicated to all my students who are going to submit your answer papers through Akura for the upcoming term test. Before uploading your answer sheets, you can refer this video as a guide. Remember, you can upload following types of files into Akura. Image files, PDFs, Word files, Excel sheets as well as presentations. So in today's example, I'll teach you how to upload a PDF into Akura. So those who have done their assignments in a Word document, they can use these tabs and convert it into a PDF before uploading to Akura. So that you can easily upload it without wasting your time. So here is my Word document. So as the first step, I'll use my file tab. Then the save as option. And then I'll give the file name according to this format. First, the admission number, then I'll put underscore, then your name, and again I'll put underscore, and then I'll mention my class. Alright, now I will save it in my desktop. And from here, I'll change the file type into a PDF. Okay, now let's go to the second step. I'll open my Akura application by typing Akura Sujata in the search bar. Then you need to select this website with the URL sujatavidyalayalk.com. Alright, now you can give your username and the password which you received from your school. Now go to the virtual classroom category and then click the drop down near there. Then you can select the submission category with the orange thumbs up icon. Now you need to fill up the current year. Then see your grade and the name will fill automatically. After these three steps, you can give the relevant subject. If you are going to upload your ICT practicals, you can select the subject as information technology. Finally, you should select the correct study material. I am going to select this one. Now, the study material should be the paper that we uploaded in Akura for y'all to answer. Let's have a look on this page. Now, here see, this is the paper that we uploaded for grade 6 students as the ICT practical. Now, we all also need to find out the correct paper when uploading your answer sheet. Okay? If you select any other, your answer sheets will be automatically rejected. So, you all need to be careful. Always try to consider the name of the paper that your teacher have uploaded you. Now, I'll click Search Uploaded Submissions. At the moment, I do not have any. So, I'll click this uploading arrow here. Then I'll select the file which I saved on the desktop before. Hmm. 
Now I am going to click the upload button. So here see my uploading was successfully completed. If you like you can click on it and see what you have uploaded. So this is what I have uploaded as my answer sheet. So go through the video clearly and practice the steps before the exam. Finally you can do your exam within the given time and upload it. Please remember after the due date no assignments will be taken. So see you with the next video soon. Thank you very much.